This video is going to be all about quadratic formula. All right, so for the quadratic formula, I really want you to do the discriminant first. So remember that the discriminant we find by doing b squared minus 4ac. So let's do that first. Okay, so I'm doing this b squared minus 4ac. So for this problem, well, you know what? First of all, I need to move the 6 over. I need a 0 over here, don't I? So your first step should be to subtract that 6 from both sides. So that's going to give you x squared minus 5x minus 6 equals 0. All right, please stop me if I do something that you don't understand. Now the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. That's negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6. Um, I didn't have to put the 1. I could have erased that 1. And you can just use your calculator, can't you? So for many of you, you should just use your calculator for this. So negative 5 squared. Notice how I put the negative 5 in parentheses. If you don't put it in parentheses, you will get the wrong answer. So minus 4 times 1, you really don't have to put the 1, um, times negative 6. OK? Um, so we're getting 49. So everyone should have gotten 49 for that discriminant. And you should show it separately on your paper, just like I just did. That way, if you get the wrong answer, you can still get your partial credit. Any questions so far? OK, now that I have that uh, discriminant, I can go ahead with the rest of the problem. Opposite of b. So b is negative 5, so opposite of b is positive 5. Plus or minus square root. Now you put the discriminant all over 2a, which is just 2. So that gives me 5 plus or minus 7 over 2. Well, if there's no i and there's no radical, I'm going to get just two regular numbers. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm going to split this up as 5 plus 7 over 2 and 5 minus 7 over 2. All right, so that's 12 over 2 which is just 6. And this is going to be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. So these are the answers to number 40, 6 and negative 1. Any questions on number 40? All right. OK. All right, how about number 41? This one's already in the right order, so I don't have to move anything around. So I'm just going to go ahead and find the discriminant. So the discriminant, uh, b is 1. So I'm going to do b squared minus 4ac. And again, there's nothing to stop you from just putting that in your calculator. So I'm going to start over. All right, so b squared minus 4. Um, what was C? I already forgot. What is it? Seven. Seven. All right, so negative 27. Did everyone get negative 27 for your discriminant? I sure did. All righty then. So negative 27. Questions? Okay. Um, and if you have that, then at least you have uh, half credit already. So now we can finish the problem. So quadratic formula, opposite of b. Um, so that's going to be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of the discriminant. So there's my negative 27 all over 2a. So that will just be 2. As soon as I see that negative under this radical, what do I do? Cross it out, put an i on the outside. So that's going to give me negative 1 plus or minus i 
root 27 over 2. Is this my final answer? Mm, yes. no. Radical 27, put that in your calculator right now. What do you get? Okay, that gives you negative 1 plus or minus 3 radical 3. Where does the i go? Okay, between the 3 and the radical. Um, remember, the reason why this is 3 radical 3 is the square root of 27. 27 is 9 times 3. And the square root of 9 is 3. That's why. Okay? Am I going to put a heart around this and divide by something? No, there's no common factor here. So this is the final answer. Any questions about number 41? Okay, last one. Um, this one is out of order, so I need to add one to both sides. I need a zero over here. Come on, am I not hitting this button? Let's go. All right, so I'm going to add one to both sides to start out. So that's going to give me 2x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Um, the discriminant, do your discriminant first. b squared, so that's negative 1 squared minus 4 a c and you can just use your calculator if you want alright there's b squared minus 4 a c did you guys get negative 7 for the discriminant on this one okay and I should see this on, on your paper separately. Discriminant, negative 7. I'm going to look for that uh, when I grade your test. And then you can go on and finish the problem from there. So the answer is going to be opposite of b. So that's positive 1 plus or minus square root of negative 7 all over 2a. 2a is 4. So that's going to give me... 1 plus or minus i radical 7 over 4. And there's nothing I can do with that. So that would be, that would be the final answer.